Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can color change in Premiere Pro, which essentially means you can change any color in your video to whatever color that you want it to be. All right, let's get started. All right, to get started, we're just going to clear this all up so that we start from the scratch. I'm going to just select that and delete every single one of them. So we're just going to start from the beginning. All right, so what you want to do is import the clip that you want to color change. All right, so here's the video that we want to color change now. If I preview this, you can see it's just a simple short eye shot uh, handheld, but uh, at the back of my car, so someone was driving. That's why it looks so smooth. But all right, I don't like what I see in terms of the color of the trees and everything, then they don't really pop out and I wanted to go for something different. So we're gonna change the color of this today. All right, so we're gonna drag this onto the timeline, the video, we don't need the audio, so we're just gonna take that out. Uh, you could easily just simply drag the video from here if you wanted just the video, which is what we want. All right, so the first way you can do this, which is super easy, is simply go into the effects panel and search for the color change effect. So if you just, oh, I think it's typed in American, color change. If you're an American listening to this, it's C-O-L-O-U-R. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this change to color and drag that on top of our clip. Then we're going to go into effect controls and we want to come in here and simply use the from to picker. And if we select that, we want to select the color that we want changed. If you select that it has that selected already and as you can see it's starting to change in terms of the hue so what you can do to change the rest of them is you can tamper with the settings that you see down here so the hue the lightness and the saturation so if we just play around with that we don't want to overdo it because as you can see our subject is starting to change color and we don't want that so you want to drag that to a point where your subject is just about or the other parts of your video that you don't want change is just about to start changing so we're just going to drag that back down all right that's 40 um let's see i think let's try 25 see if that works okay 25 works how about 30 30 works 35 so you just go in little increments like that to make sure you're not tampering with your subject. I think that's just about it. The subject was just starting to change there. Play around with the lightness, not really doing anything here. The saturation as well, not really doing anything. You want to try the softness as well, see what that's going to do. So the softness also affects it. So the lower the softness, the more you get this reddish color. So what we're going to do is try 40 on that. Let's see if it affects our subject. Not really. All right. So simple, very, very simple way to change your background color to something like this is simply use that effect. And now if we just render this, we can start to see that everything is done. And there we go. Our clip is rendered. looks beautiful. The subject hasn't been changed that much and we've been able to change the color that we wanted to change. So that's a very super easy way that you can get that done. But the one we're going to actually go into today is the second method. You can do that. And we're just going to delete this from here. And for this, we're going to need the Lumetri color. So we're going to go to into the color workspace. So we're just going to go into window right here, workspaces and color. So now we're going to go into the right hand side window, which is the Lumetri color one. And we're going to go down to HSL secondary. So if we select that. Now, this is where we can select colors that we want to change and we can change the colors using this wheel to whatever color that we want. So it's really easy. You simply just use this color picker tools. Now, this clip is not going to be as easy to use because the colors don't pop out. So I want to change the color of the trees and the green, but there's a lot of darkness every now and then. And there's also darkness on the subject you know he's wearing a black trousers and there's some shadows in in the shot so it's going to be very hard to you know change the color of this clip because of that but then 
if you wanted to do something like that, try as much as possible to use a clip that um the color you don't want change side kind of pops out and is clearly different from the rest of the shots. So say for instance, someone was wearing a red hat and you want to change the rest of the shot that doesn't have a red in it, then it's going to be so much easier for you to do. All right, so what we're going to do is use this color picker tool. So we're going to select that and then pick the green that we want changed. Now that selects the green, but then we can also use this to add more colors. This is used to subtract colors. So if we use that, we can just select a bit more green and probably a little bit more. All right, so now we want to see what we've selected. If we scroll down to this checkbox, we can check it to see what is going to get changed and what isn't going to get changed. You can use, you know, the gray slash color that you want changed, but um, I'm just going to use white on black. So if we check that, essentially what that means is the white section is going to get changed and the black is not going to get changed, which so far looks good because we don't want our subject changed and we don't want the sky to change. Okay. So as soon as that is done, you just want to come down. You can uncheck that right now and um, select the color that you want your clip changed to. So if I wanted something like a pinkish trees, let's see. Yeah, something like purple. And as you can see, just from the very start now, we are starting to see a lot of purple trees. The green has started to change to purple. But as you can see, there's still a lot more green. We're just going to keep adding those to it. Be very careful and always keep an eye on what you don't want changed because as I said, there's a lot of similar colors between what we want changed and what we don't want changed. So it's gonna be had for this particular clip. So we're just going to try to pay attention as much as possible to make sure our subject is not changing that much. And also you can simply just drag this, but then if you overdo it, your subject is going to change like that. So, all right. So, so far is looking quite good. Um, our subject hasn't really changed that much. If you pay attention, you can see a little bit of purple on our subject. But as I said, that's simply because of the similar colors, but it's not that obvious just yet. You can play around with this a lot. You can also move this back and forth to try to see and select what you want and what you don't want. I'll play around with this. I'm trying to make it as soft as possible and also get everything that we want without affecting our subject or you know the section we don't want change. Okay, so so far so good. It looks all right. You can also mess around with the temperature, the tint, the contracts, and all the other settings down here. They are essentially for the color that you pick, you know, to make it either brighter or whatever you want to do to it. So I want this a little bit more blue. Let me see the tent. No, I don't want that. I think I'm going to leave that right here. Contracts, I'm going to bring that down a little bit, but that's starting to look fake. Hmm. Let me make it like that. And then sharpen, yeah, I want that up. And saturation, no, not really. Which one looks more real? Oh, I think that looks more real. So if you take the saturation all the way to the bottom side, you're going to have like a black and white effect still. And let's see if we're just going to go a little bit close to that. Oh, wait, actually, we can actually leave it as that. And that's a color. So we simply just did that easily. And now we have a full clip that has been changed. If you see and look closely, you can see there's still a little bit of green. You can always go back in here, select the color picker and add those. As I said, just always pay attention to the part you don't want changed and then make sure you're not accidentally changing this subject and now our clip is starting to look good the color has been changed our subject and the section we don't want changed still looks the same and everything looks good all right so that looks good right now our subject has remained not changed and the rest of the shot that we want changed has been changed to the color that we wanted and so you can always just play around with this you know color picker and select what color you want you can use this to sort of make it darken or lighten as you wish. So if you just come here, the reason why this isn't changing yet is because the saturation is all the way down. So if we just bring it here because we want to see colors and maybe we want it like to pop out the green like a lot, not to look too fake, but we just want the green to look like it was, you know, really green, which it isn't. If we overdo it, it's going to look too fake and we don't want that. So I'm just going to play around with all this a little bit. Uh, I think I'm this up to the side a little bit as well. 
Okay, so if we just play that back, it should look really great right now. All right, so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give this a thumbs up so I can create more videos like this for you. And please remember to subscribe to my channel.